Good morning, everybody. It is, I don't know, one day during the week. I don't remember which day it is. But got the rock crawler sitting there warming up and ain't been started in, I don't know, a couple weeks. But we're not working on that today. We are going to work on my daily driver Jeep that I keep smacking deer with. So it's about 30 degrees outside. I got my little heater going. So it's about 32 degrees inside. So we're gonna work in here. But we're gonna work on my Jeep. I think we've kind of named this thing Salt Lick because this thing has hit six deer since we've owned it and it hasn't been totaled out yet. I think, I don't even know if it's even been fixed. Could have been. I did replace a mirror. But today we're going to put the bumper on it. Okay. So, one of the first ones we hit was on the driver's side. Kind of bent the bumper back a little bit and I took that mirror out. The second one I also hit on this bumper, but I hit my mirror. I've already replaced that. I think I did a video on that a little while back. And then the one I hit yesterday morning on my way to work, I hit on that side, this faster side here, smashed the bumper all the way back into the tire. You can see where it's been rubbing. Doo -doo -doo. So we're gonna put a bumper on it. Now I'm not going to put an aftermarket bumper on this thing just because I don't use this Jeep for that kind of stuff. It's my it's just my daily driver. Maybe one day I'll put aftermarket stuff on it, but right now I'm just gonna put another factory bumper back on it that I picked up from, I think it's off of Facebook Marketplace or something for like a hundred bucks. So let's get going. So I've never replaced a bumper on one of these JLs. So I'm assuming we just gotta start popping all these clips out and exposing the wiring fog lights to get all that unhooked and kind of just go from there, I guess. So we'll see what happens. All right, so I got all those clips out. I don't know, there's like 40 of them or something. Got my fog lights unhooked. Come to find out that fog light is just broke out. So I'm kind of glad I'm doing this. I don't know if you had to take the cover off, but I did because I was kind of curious to see what everything looked like underneath. Now, I'm going to go... No, you can't see it from that side. There's eight other bolts that kind of hold you can kind of see one right there and the one on the bottom but those eight bolts hold on i guess the rest of the bumper so we're gonna yank those out and see if we can pull the bumper this way off i need coffee i haven't had any coffee yet this morning so i might go get me some coffee then come back out here and take this bumper this way off all right i'm down to the Last nut here. That's a thing. You can get you can get to all of them with an impact, but I was scared if I took them all out with an impact, this thing fall on me while I was laying underneath. But I don't want that to happen. But they're all loose now. They're all off there. Take the last one out. You got two brackets like this per side as well. Now slide this thing off. In theory. Well, something's stopping it. Out. I guess we just gotta give it a tug. I guess. Maybe. I think I see where it's stuck on. I think from where the 
Jeep's been wrecked a couple times up here. It's got it bent. There it goes. All right. Cool. It's off. Let's think it's over with the good one. We'll check the frame and stuff, make sure there's not any damage on it. All right, well, I don't see any crinkle marks or anything else bent or anything on either side. So that's good. I didn't want to have to call my insurance company and let them know I totaled this thing out over a tiny little deer. But sometimes that happens. Sometimes you just hit stuff in the road. And where I live, we hit stuff all the time. Deer, coyotes, whatever. All kinds of little critters. So, it happens. So, framing everything looks good. I'm going to start looking at the new used Rubicon bumper and slap that thing on here. Okay, so upon my further investigations of this here bumper, you got some nuts here, 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 and here that have to be removed if... Which, some of you may not, I don't know, these hooks, the tow hooks, you got to take this other cover off of the steel part to get those hooks out. So we got to take them bolt out. Thirteen millimeter. Pop out. This thing's loud. Completely fall apart on me in a second. I said, I've never taken one of these apart. Okay. See? Okay, got some wires. Kind of clip to the steel in there, so we got to pop that out. That side, this side. I think I got them. Bring this bad boy out of here, or uh, have it get stuck on something else. There we go. Ta da! Put that on. Now we can get our hooks. Get our hooks. Woo! When? New other used sort of bumper. Take all those same nuts off that we just took off the other one so we can do the same thing kind of raise the steel piece of the bumper out of the plastic piece of the bumper and put my tow hooks back in here okay schnazzy and this is back in place oh yeah put all these back on We 
get all these back on, we'll be able to just kind of slap this bumper right back in place. And bolt everything back up. This bumper will probably be coming back off. I was doing some thinking. This bumper's probably gonna come back off in the near future because I think I might try and build a bumper for this thing. I'm kind of, I like the, the stubby, stubby style bumpers. And he's got a pretty good frame for that. So, let me try and build one. So, look out for that video because that one might be coming up. and basic awesome I'll show you look nice and basic <laughs> bumper I'll tell you the tire clearance on this side is way right, better so the bumper is in place still need to bolt it down or kind of bolt it in there but you can kind of see Right there, I got some bolts started. Got this side started, still gotta get the other side started. But once those are tight, it should be pretty secure and then I can start putting all the plastic back on. Okey doke. So, plastic is back installed. I still gotta do the under, kind of the skid plate type one. It's not really a skid plate, for plastic, but other than that, it is done. So, not too bad. Really don't think you had to take all the plastic and junk off there to pull the pull the bumper itself off. I think it's just those six those six bolts or six nuts that you know hold on to the Oh, these 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 majiggers here the tow hooks. That's what they're. There's just a four on each side of those and then the one that goes to the frame. I think that's all it takes to get the bumper all the way off. So, Probably have to take all the plastic off, but I want to know how to do it. So now you know how to do it. Pretty simple, just a whole lot of tiny little, tiny little screws. I think they're a uh, 930 seconds head and a bunch of these little push pins. So pretty, pretty simple. Really should only take about 20 minutes to, to get the whole bumper off. So wouldn't be too bad. Wouldn't be bad to put an aftermarket one on here either. So when I go to do that, or if I build uh, this one right there, that one, I may use that as a template to build my own bumper for this because I kind of like my bumpers to be a specific way. I don't really like the big manufacturer type looks. I like just a stubby to the point bumper that holds a winch. That's all I like. So anyways, thanks for watching. I hope this video helped you. If not, do me a favor and like it anyway. Leave me a comment, a question, good comment, bad comment. Don't care. I like reading them all, and I will answer you. So, take it easy. Uh, ah. I'm glad my head was there to catch this. Fall on the floor.